Hello, it's me again. Um, today I'm gonna talk about um, the return of the living dead, Necropolis. This is the fourth movie uh, of the saga, but um, it has not direct continuity with the other three, so you can start here. So this is great. The movie is from 2005, and contrary to popular belief, this is not three years ago. This is a long time ago, almost 20 years. So let's see if the movie holds up. Um, okay, the movie starts with a commercial from a company, uh, Ivratech, um, but in my notes all the time I put Ivratech, so probably I will make the same mistake here. It's a company that do everything. That's, that's the point. It's like a Robocop commercial, that kind of thing. Um, so, so the company claims that makes everything, including uh, stopping zombie outbreaks. So they established that zombies are a reality in in this world. Then we're in Chernobyl, we see um, the character played by Peter Coyote. This is uh, an amazing character actor. Uh, he's in a ton of movies and he's uh, buying some barrels of trioxin. So this is the main connection to the other movies. Um, so he's this is a shady guy, he's um, buying these barrels um, and we see some barrel is leaking and one of the Ukrainian guys is turned instantly in a zombie. So they attack him and he get, gets away. So now we have established uh, everything we need to know in the first movie, first min minutes of the movie. Uh, this stuff, the trioxin, makes people into zombies. Got it. So you can start the uh, right here. You don't don't need the other movies, but if you are really into zombies, you have to watch the first one, of course. Now we see a car crash. We see two people dead, and it's a whole nightmare. Um, the main guy, or kid of the movie, um, is having this nightmare. These are the parents that they are dead. Um, he see his little brother with a flamethrower. So keep that in mind. And he's living with his uncle, and the uncle is Peter Coyote. So Peter Coyote, right out of the bat, he's a bad guy. Now we are seeing the group of friends. We, we feel so. Becky. Look out for that! Look out for that! That's it. Um, uh, that scene established a sillier tone, but is th that tone is not maintained in the movie. Sadly, Sick, the asshole friend, um, he's an asshole. Uh, Katie, the the girls he likes, he that locally works a security guard in Ivratech. Why a teenage girl will be a security guard? I don't know. And the rest. Then we establish that the kids are bikers, they are cool kids, 2000 music sounding cool kids. And intercut, uh, we have scenes with Peter Coyote doing experiments with zombies and the trioxin. There is this cool jump that the friends are forcing the main kid to, to do, so this is obvious character development. You know, as movie are, uh, that this jump it will be important later. But he chickens out and the asshole friend makes the jump, but he falls and he's taken to the hospital. So as, as I said, Peter Coyote is doing experiments, the gas is leaking uh, from the pipes and um, the gas is uh, infecting uh, some homeless people that are doing a rat barbecue. So again, it's a sillier tone that I I will like, the, the will keep from the whole movie. So the dead rat barbecue is, is turning into zombie attacks, <laughs> that's, it, it is what it is. In the hospital they say to main kid 
that Zeke is dead, but he's not. Other girl says, uh, hey, they bring Zeke here, he's alive. So they make a plan. The plan is rescue Zeke. That's it. That's it. Step one, rescue Zeke. Step two, done. <laughs> so they go to Ibratech and they find the homeless. They don't understand that they, they these guys are zombies. But as they tell us in the beginning of the movie, zombies are real in real and known because the company Iratech is promoting itself like it's stopping zombie outbreaks. So they go to Iratech and other girl is with the computers unlocking the security, something like that. And the little brother is there. So they found guns and they meet with Peter Coyote and now it's clear that they only have Peter Coyote like from one day or two and I don't mean this uh, as a bad thing they obviously have this bigger name and they use it uh, very efficiently so the, the scenes um, with him are back and forth and and like I said, it's obvious that they are not together, but um, that's, that allows us more scenes with Peter Coyote in the movie. So, uh, good job there. So, at gunpoint, uh, they make uh, Peter Coyote to uh, uh, lead us to where Zeke is. And we have a zombie prison. There are zombie experiments. We, we, this is all, all. All is here. All zombies are crammed in one point. So uh, Peter Coyote says, main kid, that their parent is still alive in the other building, and the experiments are moving. And Peter Coyote says, bye. And he leaves the movie, but not completely. So this is the point when we are waiting for the plot to to explode, to have more, and exactly what happens. So, so it's in the right spot. Katie, by accident, opens all the gates. The zombies are completely free. They're attacking, and we see gore, we see bites, the whole thing. So the group is separated. So one group of kids go that way, the other that way. Uh, some are uh, killed, um, sick is beaten, and main kid says, I, I need to find my parents. So he goes with his other friends and they start kick fighting, kung fu fighting the, the zombies. So this is this wasn't established at all. These kids are bikers. It, it will be, it will have been a lot better than all the biking things will be, I don't know, karate training. So we have established that, but well, they go to the elevator and they found the parents and they are zombie soldiers. That's great, and main kid still believes that they are their parents, and uh, this is a dumb kid. So Becky, Zeke, and the and the little brother are escaping in in a truck. Zeke is turning into zombie. They crash. They explode. Of course, they they have to be dead. So poor Becky. Now Peter Coyote uh, released the zombie soldiers. Peter Coyote is the worst uncle ever. He's the best bad guy. 
he doesn't care about anyone. Great. So main kid and his friend, they have to climb down the building. So we have some stunt doubles doing that stunt and it's great, they are really doing it. So, so that, that, that's great and it happens Becky's alive, I don't know how. And the kid with, with the flamethrower, awesome. And you know, it's a kid in a movie. He, he's gonna be all right, and oh no, he's dead. He's dead. The kid is dead. I don't hate the kid, but movies rarely kill kids. So, so props to the movie to have courage to do that. Becky takes the flamethrower. They she, she burn zombie sick, and we see the actor in flames. I love, but I afraid of the actors when I see them on fire. I think the, these are are great stunts, but 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 I, I I'm always afraid that something bad happened to the actor. So uh, I prefer they they didn't do it in movies, but I like to see it because it shows that. That that they they have the the all the to do the movie. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Come on. So the zombie soldiers uh, appears. They uh, try to fight them off. They throw a grenade. They electrocute the zombie soldier mom, um, and the zombie soldier dad is lying uh, in the ground. And main kid is fighting a um, zombie sick. And again, not biking, um, karate, that, that would have been a lot better. So, uh, main kid puts a grenade in zombie sick, explode, awesome. But they are still surrounded by all the zombies and the SWAT arrive and it should be Ivratech. Ivratech is the group that controls the zombie outbreaks, that what they say at the beginning of the movie, it's SWAT. Okay, they save all, other girl is shot, she died, the main kid and Becky, they are the only ones who survive, and that's the movie, but Peter Coyote escapes and with a barrel of trioxin. So we have a setup for the sequel. And there is a, a next movie and we we'll see what happens with that. That's it. Um, this movie is far, far better than I remember. Um, I think uh, the, the effects are great. I think the stunts are great. And uh, I think the um, the gore could be should be a little bit more, uh, and the bitings uh, almost all are uh, bitings in the back of the hill, so could be a little bit more. But the movie is pretty entertaining, and uh, like I said, I like it a lot, lot more than I uh, enjoyed it in 2005, so I recommend this movie. Go watch it. It's, it's pretty good. That's it. Bye. I don't like you, okay? Hello? Send more security guards.